Well, in other news now, and after a pool of factors combined with de-accelerating consumption and investments led by weakening of the Indian economy, the IMF International Monetary Fund is the latest issue uh, that is a warning India. In its annual review report, the IMF has called for an urgent action by the Indian government while the fastest growing economy is in the, is, uh, in the world is gripped by the deepening economic slowdown. The report following, uh, followed after a noticeable lack of efforts by the Indian government to reverse the slowdown. The IMF has uh, uh, a microeconomic outlook of India which is more subdued in recent years. In its report, the IMF has maintained that growth has been strong in the recent years but it has not been associated with broad-based formal job gains and relatively low food prices that have contributed to rural districts. The IMF in October slashed its forecast for 2019, uh, the GDP growth, by nearly a full 6.1% for the financial year. IMF has projected that the headline inflation will remain around 3.4% with the effect of subdued demand. Reserve Bank of India has cut the key lending rate five times this year to a nine-year low. Well, the high-stake trilateral summit between China and Japan and South Korea has officially kicked off in the Sinchuan province of China. The Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, South Korean President Moon Jae-in and the Chinese Premier are representing the three nations at the summit. The summit has become an annual tradition since 2008. Broadly, the trilateral is focused on regional economy and disaster relief as well as greater diplomatic engagement. Amid a raging trade war between South Korea and Japan, there is some encouraging news on, from the region. All the three leaders have voiced their support for a free trade zone encompassing China, Japan and South Korea. The Chinese Premier has called for a trilateral free trade agreement uh, that would supersede the existing one between China and South Korea. We应该加快这方面的进程，因为中日韩自贸区实际上是三个产业链互补性很强的国家，而且对中国来说，我们有巨大的市场。当然，中韩之间已经有自贸区，但是中日韩的自贸区。Well, the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe called for the creation of an era of three kingdoms. He also highlighted the importance of the uh, RCEP partnerships to create the world's largest free trade economy. South Korea's President Moon Jae-in also reaffirmed his support for the China-Japan-South Korea free trade agreement. This comes across as a strong message amid the trade conflict. Sayumukil and well, the other strong statement came from North Korea and the Premier, a Chinese Premier agreed to continue dialogue with North Korea after his summit talks with Abe and President Moon Jae-in. The statement comes at a crucial time as Kim Jong-un's so-called Christmas surprise is just around the corner. And for long, China has been Pyongyang's most reliable ally at the world stage.